Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to hop on and do like a quick video. Um, pretty sleepy. It's already like 6.30 in the morning. I meant to be in bed a while ago, but I figured I'd stay up for a while. Time got away with me. Um, I did a couple of videos already and I'm, I guess on the plus side, letting David sleep a little bit longer, like without being disturbed when Maverick and I come up to bed. Um, so I thought I'd hang out with you guys for a little bit. <laughs> um, before I go to sleep and then wake up for Thanksgiving. So what are you guys doing today for Thanksgiving? Uh, if you're doing something, if you're not, I mean, are you at least doing something that you like to do? Like, are you guys gonna crochet or watch the Macy's Parade or is the Macy's Parade? Do they put it on YouTube now? Because I really want to watch it. I'm going to have to check into that. Um, yeah, what are you guys doing? Um, are you cooking? Are you, is somebody else cooking? Um, are you going out to eat? Uh, is it just a normal day for you? Uh, I know I, a lot of people, not a lot, I'm sure I don't have a ton of people, but I know I have some people that are not from the US that watch me. Um, so just another day for you guys, I suppose, huh? <laughs> I don't think, I don't think um, other countries have like holidays on our Thanksgiving, like, cause I know, let me think how this goes. I know there's Columbus Day, our Columbus Day is Canada's Thanksgiving right? And then uh, our 4th of July is really similar to Canada Day, right? I know I'm just talking about Canada now, but like specifically, but isn't that right? Those, those are the two holidays that are close to each other too, is 4th of July and Canada Day. Am I right about that? I think I am. I'm so bad about everything, like, <laughs> like some of the times I'm, I remember and I'm caught up on stuff and some of the times I'm not, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm right. Um, but that really has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I had been working on finishing up an old whip project, which I will have a video out for you tomorrow. So you'll see what I've been working on. Um, I did get in the mail two things that I ordered. Actually, let me just grab scissors now and I will start slitting tape because I'm saying I will open them with you guys. Um, cause I opened the last ones, this, this thing, let me not flash any addresses. This came when I was at work today. And it is, uh, cause I'm filming, you know, on my Wednesday, uh, before I go to bed. So we had mail today. Um, it was the other pop figure, one of the other pop figures from my order when I opened them with you guys the other day, or when I showed you guys, I guess I had already opened them cause of the order being so big and everything. Um, but this is the other one that I said one of the other ones that I said was coming. I still have one more coming, but I feel like that one's going to take a little while. We'll see. They come really well protected now. Like I remember when I ordered my first few, they did not come like this. So I don't know if it's because they just had issues with, with shipping lately or what, but they're very well protected in my opinion. <laughs> so if you watched my pop video, my stranger things video with the pops inside sorry there's probably about to be the sound of cardboard on cardboard and i hate that noise so if anybody else does not like it i'm sorry i hate that noise um like i don't mind crinkly packaging the way some people do with like like ice yarn orders and things like that. I hate the sound of like cardboard on cardboard. Like it, ever since I was a kid even, like it just like 
I don't know, like grinds my teeth and it's like some people describe nails on a chalkboard. I don't, I've never, either I've never heard of that done properly or it just has never bothered me. But like, cause I've even tried it, you know, at, at school, like back in the day and it's never bothered me, but cardboard on cardboard. Oh, I, I'm just thinking about it. Like it's, it gives me goosebumps. Like I hate that noise. I hate it. Sorry way off topic. Anyway, if you saw my Stranger Things box unboxing video, well, Stranger Things video, I'm all over the place. My Stranger Things video where I showed you some of my pop figures that I just got. Um, Eddie was in it with his guitar. This is roughly the same Eddie, but he is a black light. Black light. What they call him? He's neon colored. Vinyl figure, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Entertainment Earth exclusive? Huh. I assumed that. Okay. So if you don't know, <laughs> like I had, like some of my some of my Funkos have little stickers over here, like where one of them, like Lucas. I have a Lucas that it says like only at Walmart or exclusively at Walmart. Um. I have a Dustin that's only sold at Games GameStop. Um, I have several um, ones that are only sold at Target. Like probably like four different ones that are only sold at Target. Um, and the all of the ones that I have that are like the the black light ones like this, um, which uh, let me show him better to you. See, he's got like neony colors going on in there. Probably looks pretty cool under a black light. Um, I have an L and I have a Dustin of the black light. So I was not able to find, I know there's a Demogorgon and I'm assuming there's probably the other kids also. I don't know what else there is. I, I know for a fact there's a Demogorgon. I've never found him. Um, I know he's a target thing. And uh, L and Dustin both have like sold it or exclusive at Target or whatever. So I assumed Eddie would be. A, I assumed all the black light ones were Target. But yeah, it says uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive, limited edition. So I got my Eddie limited edition. Very excited about that. So he came in the mail. Now I have one more figure coming. And Funko needs to stop putting out Stranger Things stuff because I have no money. <laughs> and then one more thing, which this sounds not broken, but it definitely sounds handle with care, fragile. Um, it sounds like there's more in it than the thing that I ordered. Does that make sense? Maybe it's just because the thing that I ordered is like in its own little case. I don't know. Let's find out. This has actually been here for a couple days and I just haven't opened it. Um, there is more than... Okay. Okay. There's more than one thing in here, and they're the person. I bought this off eBay. The person who. Sorry, there's gonna be. I'm just talking about crinkly. Sorry. <laughs> so we had my cardboard sounds, and now for those of you who may not like paper sounds, let me just cut this. Or may not like plastic sounds, I mean. They wrapped it really well, so that's good. Alright. Um, when I was at, <sighs> when I, that's so cool, I'll like, I'll, sorry, I got ahead of myself reading it. When I was at one of the Fozzie shows, I was inside with the guys and at the VIP and, um, one of the other people there, one of the, the fans, um, brought, brought with him. Uh, this is so cool. I've, it's also in a protector. It, it's like a set. Spoiler for those of you who didn't notice already. But it's it's in a, before I show you the set, it's in a protector. 
like how cool is I'm leaving it in there for right now but um this was their first album Fozzie's first album and uh <laughs> upside down <laughs> featuring Chris Jericho and members of Stuck Mojo yeah because mo more than just rich was in Stuck Mojo anyway I'm sorry um he had the cassette and he had them signing it and I was like there's a cassette and you know what's funny even the guys in Fozzie were like is that a cassette we had a cassette <laughs> they didn't even know they had a cassette but it is from the actual um, producer or whatever like the actual company the label that's the word I'm looking for if this is from the label hmm that's that's wild and like I I had struck up a conversation with him he's like yeah it's, it shouldn't be like that much even you know I got it off of like eBay or whatever so I said I have got to go to eBay then and um, there wasn't actually that many of them left um, and it was more than I thought it would be but got it because I needed it because cassettes hello your girl Fozzy yeah I had to have that and I'm going to have my guys sign it yes I am um, I had even asked the guy, I was like, I was like, but the true test, I was like, do you have a cassette player to play this in? And he's like, yeah, I have it in my whatever car he had. <laughs> he had a cassette player in there and I was like, you, you are cool, dude. <laughs> so I got that. Um, and what had confused me and what I said, when I said in the package, it sounded like there was more things than one. It's because it sounded like, like that. There was another one. The person who who sold this wrote free on here and they, it's in a protecting case too that's I've never seen those I mean I don't know if this is just like a from playing cards or what but such a good idea um, <laughs> um this oh my gosh this is not is this the one I had hold on Okay, this is, uh, it says Superstars theme music. Is it the same on both sides? I don't, I think this is different even than the one I had. Okay, so when I was a kid, my mom loved wrestling. Like, loved it. Um, and so that became our thing, was like, we watched it together. Um, growing up, it's, I'm not gonna say I don't like it. But, like, I definitely, like, anybody that I had liked is not, I don't know, around anymore. Um, so I've, I'm not a wrestling girl anymore by any means. Um, I liked, like, The Undertaker. Uh, I liked, um, Triple H. Uh, um, the most modern day person I liked was John Cena. I don't even know if he's around right now because um, I have not watched it in years and years, probably like seven or eight years. I haven't watched it. Um, I first got introduced to Fozzie because um, somebody I knew, I think he thought that I liked wrestling more than I did, which I mean, it turned out to be awesome and like a blessing right but uh, he he thought I liked wrestling more than I did I guess and he's like oh I have this band you're probably gonna like and I was like why you know like just the way he said it I guess I was like why and he's like um, just give him a listen so I did spoiler it was fozzy and uh, I came back to him one day and I was like, I was like, yeah, I really like that band. And I was like, why, why did you think I'd like him? And he's like, because of the lead singer. And I was like, why you think it, you know, you thought I would think he's hot or something. And he's like, it's a wrestler. It's Chris Jericho. And I was like, oh, I, I've heard of him, you know, and he was just like floored, but he thought I liked wrestling more than I, more than I did, you know. Um, not that I, 
not that I didn't, but like, Chris was around as I was getting not around, you know what I mean? Um, so I definitely never got into Fozzie because of like the wrestling scene. Uh, I've been the rock and roll part of the Fozzie fandom, definitely like my whole, my whole, uh, life with them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the person obviously that had this was at least familiar with the fact that wrestling, you know, so they sent along a, did I even say what this was? It's a, um, cassette thing, cassette thing, <laughs> of course it is. It's a cassette from, what was it, 19, 1993 it says on here is the, tr the trademark, um, and it's like a bunch of theme music for like when the wrestlers went down to the, I think, when they went down to the ring. Um, there's uh, Lex Luger, I'll Be Your Hero, Doink the Clown, Doinkin' Around, Men on a Mission, M.O.M., Calling All Cubans, Razor Ramon, 25 Gallon Gallop, Smoking Guns, and The Perfect Twist, Mr. Perfect. I remember Mr. Perfect because my mom watched him. <laughs> um, which, I mean, in turn, Child Heather watched him then. Um, so yeah, I had a cassette that had Breath of Hitman Heart. I loved him when I was a kid. Loved him so much. It was him and The Undertaker for me, and then, like, later Triple H came on the scene. That's me dating myself as far as my wrestling, um, my wrestling, like, love or whatever. But yeah, so I... It's funny because there's so many, so many wrestling fans. And I'm not trying to offend anybody who's a wrestling fan. Like, I myself did used to watch it. Like, it was me and my mom's thing, you know. Um, I think I'm just overly sensitive about wrestling fans at Fozzie shows because, like, so many of them... So many of them have straight up been rude. I think I mentioned this before. Have straight up been rude. And, um, like, they'll... Okay, like, the guys at the VIP now will sign, like, two or three things um, per person. And it's because people would come and pay money to go into the VIP to meet Chris. And I, I'm, this is not an over-exaggeration. I have literally watched people on more than one occasion, different people, not the same guy, come in with, like, a, like a big shopping bag. Like, I'm not talking, like, a Walmart bag. Like a sh like a big shopping bag, uh, full of um, WWE, e, right? WWE. <laughs> I keep wanting to say WWF. It was WWF like back in the day. And that's what's on here. It's WWF. Um, WWE uh, wrestling figures or like Chris merchandise. Like I don't. I'm not as familiar with his current gig stuff. I know there's probably wrestling fans out there. Um, he did something with a bottle of champagne or wine or something. So there was merchandise of it, I guess, that had it. <laughs> I know, I sound really bad. Um, I, should, I should watch it just to support him, but I support his music. <laughs> um... But there, people bring it to have him sign like that, you know? These people would have just, like, shopping bags full of Chris items like that. Like the like this champagne or whatever it is. And the dolls and um, Chris t-shirts. No, no Fozzie merch. Just Chris stuff from his wrestling. And um, they would just want him to sit there and, like, basically just, hey, I'm going to ignore the band. Chris, can you just stand here and sign this whole bag of shopping stuff? This whole shopping bag of stuff for me. I don't know if they were huge fans. I don't know if they were, re I mean, I'm guessing they were resellers and thinking they could make more money if his stuff was signed. Um, I don't know, but, and it's not like, to me, that in itself is like a little rude just because like, like I'm friends with these guys, you know, so I'm like, I feel bad that they're just sitting there at that point then 
like basically just twiddling their thumbs, you know, doing doing nothing because what are they doing while Chris is signing a bunch of wrestling stuff? <laughs> um, but then <laughs> once they started telling people like, um, we're only, you know, we can only sign, like Chris can only sign this amount of things or whatever, um, people would get rude. Like, like one guy straight up said, um, you mean I paid this, all this money for this VIP and he won't even sign all my stuff? And, uh, I actually said, like, the VIPs for, you know, your experience with the band, dude. Like, not just so Chris can sign your stuff. And the guy said, why would anybody pay for a VIP with this band? Who are they? Like, I'm sorry. I know that they're, <laughs> this is turning into a Thanksgiving Day rant. I know that it, I may be sensitive because they're my friends, but like, if you don't like Metallica, why would you go to a Metallica VIP? Just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. If you only like Chris because of the wrestling, just go to the wrestling event things. Like he does, well, I don't, okay. I know he doesn't do, see, I know a little bit, I know a little bit because I hear stuff, but um, I know he doesn't do the WWE stuff anymore because he's in a, he's in a different, I'm struggling, I'm on the struggle bus, he's in a different um, wrestling association, <laughs> federation, <laughs> um, is it eight? AEW? A U W? I think it's AEW. I think I'm gonna go with that. That sounds right. Um and I think that's where the whole champagne or wine thing or whatever came from was there. Um and so maybe he doesn't do like but like like when he did like WrestleMania show like when they did WrestleMania, they had a whole WrestleMania weekend and so they would do like <clears throat> areas where kind of like at comic-con where you could go get like david harbour's autograph um they would do that with the wrestlers like throughout the weekend different areas where you could go pay probably pay i'm assuming anyway i, didn't, I never went to them but um i'm assuming they weren't free but i'm assuming you could pay to go get like wrestlers autographs and stuff like i mean if you're only a fan of the wrestling or at least if you're gonna do that don't don't be you know these are other people <laughs> You know, that are working, Chris is a lead singer of a band, a band made of other people that are working just as hard as he is, you know, like, it's just hurts my feelings for them, <laughs> hurts my heart for them. Um, <clears throat> things are getting better now that the band is getting bigger, they're getting more recognition and I think people are really realizing that all of them, including Chris, are taking it really seriously. Like, they have been from the start, but I think people are starting to realize it. Um, so they're a little less prone to coming only for Chris. And, um, which, like, it's great. You know, if he's got extra, basically extra fame, of course, use, use that, right? Like, I'm sure he's thinking the same thing. They're thinking the same thing. But, like, you know, people just don't have to be so rude. All right, I'm not. I'm done with the tangent about them, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Just it just you know. Ah, oh. you ever just see people be rude to like your your friends, and then you just you want to say something, you know? You just want to say something. Um. Anyway, that's what I got in the mail. Was my Fozzie cassettes? So thought I would share that with you and I didn't mean to add the side helping of, of uh, extra ranting today. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't have any like new yarn or anything like that. I did, I did make a, a purchase. It hasn't came yet. I made a purchase in the Joann's Black Friday sale. Um, cause they, they started it early of course, Black Friday being tomorrow. Um, 
yeah that's so that'll be here it's it's a small one it's not anything huge it's stuff some of the stuff that I needed for blankets and things like that um, so you know I'm still I'm still trying to be good um, about getting more yarn than I need um, they've done a lot better this year than I have in the last few years that's for sure um, I think I mentioned it in my Movie Marquee video, but Samantha and Bella and I have decided to do the Movie Marquee again next year. So for anybody who wants to maybe think about joining in, jumping on the bandwagon, um, we are going to be doing it. We're trying to get our movie thoughts collected now. And yeah, I don't know. I just like I just wanted to come on and like I said, like Mavericks asleep behind me. I'm giving David some extra time to sleep and I thought I would catch up with you guys and um just like chit chat for a while. Um hang out for Thanksgiving. Um because I know like I asked in the beginning like what everybody was doing, but for especially for those who are just kind of chilling at home, you know, we can hang out for a while, you know? Um I myself am going to um, David's parents, my mother-in-law and father-in-laws, um, cause my mother-in-law wants to cook Thanksgiving dinner again, which is great. Like zero complaints, you know, not only do I not have to cook, but, um, it, like even if I went there and cooked, it's just, I miss the, uh, the family aesthetic, aesthetic, the family, like the atmosphere of, when I grew up, it was uh, in in the house. It was my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, and I for for most of my growing upness, <laughs> my growing up life, my life growing up. Um, and my grandma would cook, and usually my cousins and stuff would at, at some point stop by, not necessarily right for dinner or anything. So it would be at least the four of us, you know, around the table and just like family time and it was nice and I miss that um I miss that a lot because you know my grandma made it a point pretty much every night was uh you know family dinner um I, I miss that a lot uh things get lost in the day-to-day -day, um especially like because I work nights David works nights but we work different times at nights and um Damon doesn't live uh, with us anymore. He works different times separately from me still. So like there's there's no one to sit down to, you know, and always have like a, a we're sitting down at this time to eat dinner kind of aesthetic with. I keep wanting to use the word aesthetic, but um, I don't know. And it just, the the times that we get together and it's over at, you know, my in-laws house. It, that's just, it feels like the family get together -y time from my grandma. And I, I miss that so much. Like people always say like, you know, you won't, you won't know until it's gone, like how much you miss something. I know that's not the exact saying or whatever, but it's so true. Like, <laughs> um, I feel like I took it for granted um, that, you know, like that's the family together time, the family meal time and stuff. And I miss that so much. Um, yeah. So I am going to thoroughly enjoy sitting down with my in-laws and having Thanksgiving dinner. And then um, after that, uh, David has to go to work. And um, it'll be me and the boys. It'll be me and Maverick and Otis. And we're going to hang out. And I'm going to crochet. The boys aren't. But I'm going to crochet. Um, as long as they settle down and let me. And uh, yeah. That's my exciting night planned out. So anyway. Uh, that's really all I have to uh, talk about. I think I didn't. I didn't mean to rant so much. I'm sorry, you guys, about um, Chris and the boys, but I won't get back on the topic. Um, 
but yeah, this was this video was was gonna be like pretty much a whatever came to mind video, and I guess I guess that was it. So, you know, um, don't get more real than just whatever comes to mind, right? <laughs> It's a real chit chat. <laughs> you guys just didn't get to like respond. I guess. I mean, you can down in the comments, obviously, but I meant like the back and forth. You know, you know. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I am rambling now because I am sleepy. Um. I feel like I'm just gonna be staring at the camera and be like, um. Um, um, so I should probably let you guys go. Uh, I have another video or two coming out that I've already filmed. One of them is probably already out. The movie Marquee, is, I think, was set to come out first. And then I'll have a Whip Weekend video coming out. Um, depending on when the Joann's video, or video, the Joann's delivery comes, I'll have a Joann's video after that. Um... I mean, you'll see me, I'm sure. I'll, I'll have something to talk about, right? Um, and then in, what, a week or so? Well, it's because we're almost in a, in a week. I'll be uh, starting Vlogmas. So I will be doing that. Um, I have an exchange with Miss Bella. Um... I got hers sent out. Hopefully it gets there. <laughs> I hope. It should. It's supposed to be there by Friday. So, um, and then I've already received hers and I'm very excited to open hers. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else, I don't know what else is coming up for Vlogmas, but... We shall see. I guess it'll be a surprise for her. it'll be a surprise for all of us. Um, but yeah, I know a couple people had asked, and yes, I do intend to do it. Um, I like to I like to try to do all the vloggy things uh, as long as I like have time. I, I know I didn't do um, vlogist this year. Last year turned it was fun. Last year, right? It was um, kind of like a month of. Everything was like a big month of nostalgia. I, I remember I just ended up talking about a lot of 80s things with you guys, which I loved. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm still rambling though. All right, I'm going to go. But I hope you guys are having a really great Thanksgiving. Be safe. Uh, celebrate. And uh, even if you're by yourself, do something that you enjoy. And... Um, yeah, I love you guys. Have a really great holiday. Great Black Friday. Safe Black Friday. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. All right. I love you guys. Sleepy Maverick says he loves you too. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>